beekeeper Arvin knows that when left on its own, the humble bumble has a trick up its sleeve. She bears very well aware she pulls too hard, she'll die. About two and a half minutes later, she works herself free. I don't know why, but this is both cute and scary at the same time. How did this bee pull off this amazing escape act? A bee's stinger is composed of a stabilizing rod, which is connected to a venom bulb at one end and tapers into a stinger at the other end. On either side of the stabilizing rod are two retractable blades that alternately saw back and forth into Arvin's skin, wedging the stinger further into his skin. Honeybee stingers have evolved to sting other insects that don't have elastic properties in the skin, and this means they can easily pull their stingers out once they've done the stinging. The same is not true when they sting us. The stingers actually get stuck in there, and it makes it very difficult for the bees to pull them out after. Now, ordinarily, when a bee stings a person, the person will probably try to swat the bee, which makes the bee want to fly away, ripping itself in half and leaving both the stinger and the venom sac, which can continue to pump venom for up to 10 minutes. Because Arvin is a beekeeper, he's very calm and he's quite used to the presence of these bees, and he's even used to getting stung. So he doesn't panic. He simply leaves the bees to twist their stingers out further, 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 until they finally dislodge themselves and fly off. So next time you get stung by one of these buzzing beasts, remember, give her time and she'll be fine.